Hello my lovely sixth graders. So this week is going to be all about goal setting, which means we need to first re-fitness test. So we did these at the beginning of the semester and now I'm going to have you try them on your own. I'll include links for the YouTube cadence, which means like telling you how to go um, when you are doing your push-ups and curl-ups. And then I also am hoping that you're able to move a mile. I'll give you some options for uh, downloading like on that My Run, which is an app that you can have on your phone. If you have a Fitbit, awesome. If you could ask uh, your grandparents or mom or dad or someone to drive out a route that is safe for you and that is one mile, that would be great. If you live close to the middle school, you know where the start and stop is. Remember, it's three full laps and then kind of like a third more. Uh, if you need some help, I am here to offer some suggestions. You could also always go hit up the track, perhaps, if it's not busy, because, you know, we want to stay away from each other, which is still a bummer. But, so first thing first is when you do your push-up uh, challenge or push-up test, if you will, you're going to do as many as you can with the cadence of the down, up if you remember. So it's going to look like this. And guys, it's okay if you can't do one full push-up still. We haven't been in phys ed in class with me like, woo, and you along. So um, perhaps your fitness levels have gone down while we've been quarantined. Mine has too, which is a bummer. So for push-ups, you want to go from your toes, right, and your hands. If you notice, I'm not up like a mountain and I'm not down like a valley. I want to be a plane. I need to keep basically all my muscles squeezed in tight. And then the cadence will say, ready, begin. Down, up, one, down, up, two. And you need to try to hold the down. It's really stinking hard, I know. Um, do as many as you can. If you can't do one, then I suggest you go to a modified push-up. And if you remember, your modified push-ups are on your knees here, but your hips are still in line with your shoulders and your knees rather than being um, bent or saggy, okay? When you do your push-ups, you wanna try to make sure that your elbows come to a 90 degree angle, but this way. So I would create a 90 degree angle here, also known as a right angle. So do as many as you can, and then you're gonna type in my Google Doc on how many you did. If you are hoping to know your numbers and you've forgotten them from the beginning of the, uh, the semester, just email me and I can look them up um, rather than me sending 30 emails out. For the curl-ups, if you remember, your feet are supposed to be on the ground and at least your heels on the ground. Your arms are supposed to be by your side. If you want to put them across your chest, you can, but you come up to a 45 degree angle, which means I would really stop about here because this angle right here is about 45 degrees. So I go all the way down and I'll say, ready, begin. Up, down, one, up, down, two, and so on and so forth. You can't grab your legs, you can't throw your arms, you can't put your elbows on the ground. Um, just do your best. If it's not an ideal number, it's okay because we're goal setting this week. So first, Things first, I would suggest Monday, Tuesday, try to get your fitness testing in. Wednesday is going to be like a brain dump. Think of all the ideas that you could possibly have for a fitness or health related goal for yourself. So I had just did a brain dump actually with my 7th and 8th graders and my brain dump sounded something like or looked rather something like um, I want to be able to, I got to run more. I want to make it to the top of the mountain without stopping. I really want that muscle definition to come back because it's been hiding since I've been quarantined. Um, I want to make sure that I fit into my clothes from last summer. I want to do better pull-ups and just easier and more of them. Um, what else? Right, like things like this. So brain dumping is very general. And you're going to try to do this on Wednesday, a brain dump. And then Thursday and Friday, you're going to come up with your actual 
goals and your plan to get there because we have five weeks left of school and of school and I think it's five weeks um, and I want to use these next five weeks to help push you towards your goals so I will still be teaching my lessons but I would like to be able to at least target one or two lessons per week uh, to your individual goals so you have time to really focus on them because I know that you get a little bit bogged down with online learning and oh my goodness it's so boring staring at a screen all day so I get it you probably want to get away from it and get outside um, and I'm gonna hopefully be able to provide you with that opportunity so first two days Monday Tuesday break it up so that you are doing fitness testing Monday Tuesday curl ups push ups and mile run if you can if you can't do the mile run I'll also include the pacer uh, noise but that means you have to measure out 20 meters so it will be your choice on which cardiovascular test you want to do pacer or mile um, if you know how to sit and reach I don't I know we don't have the box for you to sit and reach but a sit and reach this would be just something for you right legs straight try to get your back nice and tall and then you're just trying to reach out and see like can you touch your toes um, again we're supposed to have a box so that you can see the actual distance but we don't so it is what it is okay guys I am throwing a lot at you which um, I'm sorry I'm gonna calm down just had a rice's coffee uh, and I am here for questions which means you need to ask them I have office hours on Mondays and on Thursdays. I would love to see your beautiful faces in office hours just to say hello or to ask questions. If my office hours on Mondays and Thursdays don't work for you, then message me and I am happy to set up our own Google Meet. On Mondays and Thursdays, I also teach live workouts, which means on Mondays I do a yoga meditation at 11. And then office hours begins from 11.30 to 12.30. And then for my... Thursdays, it's like a boot camp workout style. No equipment needed, typically a mat and just space. And um, that's again at 11 till 11.30. And then directly after that are my office hours. I miss you guys. I love seeing your faces in class every day. And I'm missing seeing your faces and feeling your energy. I hope that you guys are all safe and well. And hopefully I get to see you soon. Okay, bye guys.